Hello. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn an existing, but confusing floor plan into a clean, transparent floor plan, by replacing 2D symbols. I've prepared a PDF in advance to show you, what we're going to do in the tutorial. The floor plan shown above, features objects marked with their top view, and below with 2D symbols. Our aim is to create a simplified, and easy to understand floor plan. To begin, we'll download some objects from the 3D warehouse, to use in the bedroom. To do this, we'll use the interior, 3D warehouse command, and then select the direct download option. First, I want to download a bed, called Ledleto Bed. I am downloading the model 2023. I rotate it, and place it on the floor plan, and adjust the width to fit between the two bedside tables, it will be 1850 mm including frame. For the corner of the room, I download the next object, which will be an armchair. I'm using the 3D warehouse in the same way, only this time I'm downloading using the external browser. The name of the armchair is Viola Armchair, and I will use the 2023 model. After downloading the armchair model, I'll locate the file in my downloads folder. To import the model into the program, I can either use the drag and drop method to drag the file directly into the program, or select file menu and choose import. I can see its box size here. I use the place button to place it after saving it. I place the object in the corner, then turn it a little. Now I'll show you how to replace the top view of the object with a 2D symbol. I have two options, one is to replace them with a plain rectangle. We use this for rectangular objects, like the table, or this ottoman in the corner. The other option is to replace them with a library group that I define. Let's look at replacing this ottoman with a plain rectangle first. There are two ways to access the command. The first is through the interior menu, under single object, then tools, and replace 2D symbol with box. Once we select the object, the program will prompt us to confirm whether we want to overwrite the original object or create a copy in the library. In this case, I want to overwrite the original object, so I'll select yes. The program will automatically replace the top view of the ottoman, with a simple rectangle. Let's do the same for the table. This time, I'll show you how to access the command from the object's local menu. From here, I choose edit, replace 2D symbol with box. Here again I choose yes which overwrites the objects in the library. Let's continue with the other option, where we replace the top view of the objects with the library group we have defined. Let's start with these chairs. First, I'll look at their box size, 500 by 500 millimeters. First, I need to create a library group, the dimensions of which will be 500 by 500 millimeters. I will draw the library group using the drafting tool. First, I will draw a rectangle 500 by 500 mm and a 50 mm backrest using also the rectangle command. I save this using the drafting menu, 2D group, create group in library command. I select the group, press enter to accept it and then I have to enter 4 nodes of this group. It's important that the first node is always the top left node, so that we move clockwise. If I don't want to specify it, I can press enter and the program will automatically create these nodes in the correct direction. I just have to save them. I'm done. Now let's replace the top view of the chairs with the 2D symbol we just created. Before I start the replacement, I check what name this object is saved under in the library. I right click on it and then use the locate in design center command. Here we can see that it is listed as chair Murano. Let's start the replacement. I'll be able to access this from two places as well. One is also in the object's local menu. Here I choose Edit, Replace 2D Symbol. This will open the floor plan representation vocabulary, where we will see a list. This means, that if there are several types of chairs in my project, and I type in the word chair, the program will replace the top view of the objects, that have the word chair in their name with the 2D symbol of my choice. If I want to narrow it down, I have to enter the exact name of the chair, so it will only replace the symbol for those chairs. I can use the Add New Name Pattern button to add the specific type, in this case Chair Murano. I make the Selection tab active, and then click on Replace to select the symbol, I have previously saved in the library. It is important, that the nodes, 
and the position of the library group we draw, are the same, as those of the object saved in the library. In this case, for example, the backrest is on top. I also drew the library group itself, so that if it is rotated by 90 degrees, we can rotate the library group as well. I accept it with OK, and then when I overwrite it, the program will create these objects with the new symbol. Let's continue working on the armchair. Now I'll show you the other way to access this function, interior, single object, tools menu, 2D symbol replacement command. In this case, however, I have to choose which object I want to use. In the pop-up window, I again select add new name pattern. On the left is the name of the chair, and on the right, I select which symbol I want to replace the top view with. Within the office, I select chair 11. The notes in the position are the same, so that's fine. The selection is active. And after the override it is done. Moving on to the next object, which will be the bed. Now from the local menu I'm going to launch the command edit, 2D symbol replacement command. I click on the add new name pattern button. Select the group. Then accept and overwrite the object saved in the library. The last object will be the sofa. I repeat what I learned in the previous steps. Here again, I overwrite the saved object in the library. This means exactly, that if I look for these objects, that I have just changed in the library, and place them on the floor plan, I will no longer see their top view representation, but the symbol that I have set. If I want to see the top view again, and not this 2D symbol, I can set it up, in Interior, Object, Tools, Reset 2D Top View, I can reset it. I select the object, so I get the top view again. I will undo this now. Last but not least, I'll show you the 2D symbol vocabulary I just mentioned. I choose Interior, Object, Tools, Management of 2D Symbol Vocabulary. This command can be important when we want to replace symbols from the top view in general. For example, as I mentioned before, if there are several types of chairs in a project, I just type chair and they can be replaced by the program at the same time. This 2D symbol vocabulary can be expanded by clicking on the Add New Name Pattern button, or we can narrow down by clicking on the Delete button. When working with 2D symbols in your floor plan, it's also important to consider the priority or stacking order of each object. This determines which object appears on top when two or more symbols overlap on the same plane. For example, if you want to show a bed on top of the carpet, we can assign the carpet a lower priority number than the bed. In this case, the carpet would appear underneath the bed. I enable the 2D fills for the bed and change the color to white, making it clear that the carpet is under the bed. Let's look at the same example for the dining room. To ensure that the lamp is on top, we can assign it the highest priority number. The chairs can be assigned a lower priority number, and the table can be placed in the middle of the display order. By adjusting the display order and using 2D fills with appropriate colors, we can make the floor plan much more transparent and easier to read. Another thing that can contribute to a more schematic floor plan is the wall display. Here I can set the display of the walls, I can choose from course, medium and fine filled options. I'm going to select the medium filled option, which gives the walls a black fill. This makes the whole floor plan very transparent. We're done. Let's quickly go back to the PDF, what I shown in the beginning of the tutorial, to see, what kind of floor plan we managed to create from the existing one. It's clear that it's much more transparent, and we've also rearranged the display order. The replacement of 2D symbols is a very useful function if we want to create a more streamlined floor plan. I hope this video was helpful to you, and that you'll join me again next time. Until then, have a nice day. Goodbye.